Can you give me another two digits? 70. 70? Oh, 70, yes. Yeah. I think the one. Okay. Well, give me a two digit number. 28. Right. Okay. So, regular math. We're going to do it the way we were taught. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 2 is. 10. 8 times 2, Why did the 16 two? plus 2 and 18. And then we have to do the little catchphrases to get them to remember why we put a zero here. So in our room, when you're done with the ones, it's a superhero zero. Oh, so that keeps it from seeing it. But again, what, what we're finding is when we do it the regular way, the kids don't know what that 2 is or why it's there. But that 2 is not really a 2. The 2 is 2 sets of 10. 20. So it's 20. Okay, so now, which colors? Now we're going to multiply by the 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. Oh. And 2 times 2 is 4. And this is the old fashioned way. This is the way we do it. And then so our answer 644. Did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, the biggest mistake in fourth grade, what do fourth graders do? They forget that zero. Their answer will be 184 plus 46. Or they'll forget the two, or like Scott just didn't put you on the spot. He did two times two, or two plus two is four times eight. So that's where it gets confusing, and we understand it because it was drill and kill for us. Mm -hmm. But for the kids, they don't understand the why. And so when they get to the higher level math, that's where it gets to be troublesome. Common four, two different ways we can do it. The area of the box method says 23 is the same thing as 20 plus three. I can also say 28 is the same thing as 20 plus eight. So this is the area model method. Kids in my class just bought the box method. If you know your basic facts, this is easy. So using my basic facts, this box would be my 20 times 20. I don't have to write it there. The kids already know that's where my answer goes. But using my basic facts, I would say 2 times 2 is 4. But this is a 10, and this is a 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. So now I have 400 there. This box would be 2, 20 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. And I have one set of 10, so that's 60. Over here, 2 times 8 is 16. One set of 10s. And 8 times 3 is 24. So now if I add all of those up, I should still get 644. 400 plus 60 is 460. And right there it is. 160 plus 24 is 184. How do you know not to? And there it is. Now when I add that together, I get 644. I can do it this way. Oh, 400 can. plus 160 okay. is 560. Because it doesn't matter way, which way I add my numbers, 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 is still going to be the same no matter which way I line it up. 60 plus 24 is 84. And when you add that together this way, you get 644. So, but now it's base 10. The kids can see. If I know my basic facts, I can do that. And some people can. I'm not there yet because I'm still doing this. Mm -hmm. I do this one with single digit numbers, but the kids can do this now. The kids will look at it and say, well, 20 times 20 is 400. And when you grow up with that, you learn that. <laughs> <laughs> it gets easier to do. Now, I'm going to try to write this over here so you can see all three ways at one time. But this is the way a lot of the kids really like to do it, and they call it the butterfly method. And it's just doing the tens first and then the ones. So it's another option. Again, I really didn't care which way the kids learned it, as long as they were learning it a different, a different way. So when the kids would say, my mom's yelling because this is the way to do it. And my dad said five bad words. <laughs> He likes to do it that way. That makes sense. But if we're not showing them the other ways, they're not getting that tennis either. So then it's not ever going to really make sense. So I like to use a bunch of different colors so the kids can see what we're doing exactly. Same thing as here. I'm just going to write the little zero there and say this 20, this 2 is really a 20, and this 2 is really a 20. And the kids know that. If you say what's 23 mean, they say, I know I have 
20, two tens, and three ones. They know that much. So Common Core is saying, I'm going to multiply 20 times 20. So again, two times two is four, and then I have two zeros. And now I'm going to take this 20 times three. So two times three is six, and I have one zero. Well, there's my 460 again. So they're just writing it a totally different way. We'll switch color so that kids can see this. Now I'm going to say eight times 20. Eight times two is 16, and I have one zero. And now I have to do my ones. Eight times three is 24. So when we add that, we get the four, 14, 644. So it's the same exact thing. And then the kids like, we need to do that. There's our butterfly. That's why they call it the butterfly method.